Chapter 33, number 46, has two parts. Part A asks, find an expression for the magnetic field at the center, point P, of the circular arc in the figure. Part B asks, does your result agree with the magnetic field of a current loop when theta equals 2 pi? Here's our figure. We have our current going through these points here, our radius from point P to the current being capital R, and our angle theta. We're going to start by listing the Biot's of Art Law, which says that your magnetic field, or B field, will equal mu naught over 4 pi times I delta x vector cross product r hat divided by r squared. This may seem overwhelming at first, but we know that b is our magnetic field. Mu naught is just a constant, and 4 pi is just a number. We know i is just current. And the three that you might be unfamiliar with are this delta x vector, which is the current segment. As you can see here, it's demonstrated in the red. The r hat, which is just a vector from delta x to p, it's demonstrated here in the blue, and r, which is just the distance from delta x to p, which you can barely see, but it's in here in green. Now in this diagram, I've broken the current segment into three different currents. X1, X2, up here, and X3. I've also included their corresponding R hats. As you can see here, R hat 1, R hat 2, and R hat 3. And as you can see, they all go from point P to the current segment. The individual distances, R, are also drawn in, but since this is radial, we know that the distances are all the same. Keep in mind there is a difference between R hat and R. As I said previously, R hat is a vector, which means it includes direction, whereas R is just a distance. It's just a number. Now it turns out in this problem, the cross products for the current segments 1 and 2 are actually just 0 because the current segment as well as the vector, the r hat vectors, are in the same direction. In other words, the cross product is actually 0 because the angle between delta x and its respective r hat is 0. So in this case, as you can see here, x1 and r1, the angle between them is just zero. Likewise, up here, x2 and r2, the angle is zero. For delta x3 vector, however, the r hat 3 vector actually meets with the delta x3 vector at a 90 degree angle, which means that the cross product of delta x vector and r hat is simply going to be delta x. With that information, you can reduce the Biot's of Art Law to this function over here, which basically all you have to do to do that is change this cross product of the delta x vector and the r hat to the delta x, as we found back here. Now we have to find the magnetic field over the entire arc. So first what we're going to do is break the arc into a segment, dx. As previously established, the distance from point P to the segment is constant all the way across the segment because it's a circle, which means that the distance is really just the radius. And our, so our radius is just going to be R equals capital R, which was given to us in the figure. Now since everything but the dx or the delta x are constants, it can all be pulled out to the front of the integral. 
So what we have is this times the integral of dx. Now, we weren't given boundaries for this problem, which it would just be, you know, this point here and this point here. But it turns out we don't really need them because we know that the integral over this with the boundaries is really just the arc length, which I have here as L. So our final product of this is actually just this. Now since L equals R theta, if you plug in R theta for the L, it can simplify to this. Now as our answer for part A, an expression for the magnetic field at the center of the circular arc in the figure is B equals mu naught I theta over 4 pi R. Just to recall, Part B asked, does your result agree with the magnetic field of a current loop when theta equals 2 pi? Now before, when we found the expression for the magnetic field at the center of the arc, we used this angle because this arc just encompasses this angle. Now to account for an entire loop, all we have to do is plug in 2 pi for theta, which will give us this over here, ultimately simplified to this, mu naught i over 2r. Now because our results, when evaluated, at theta equals 2 pi, give us the equation for the magnetic field at the center of a one-turn coil, we can say our results agree with the magnetic field of a current loop when theta equals 2 pi. In other words, our answer for part b, asking if our results agree with the magnetic field of a current loop when theta equals 2 pi is yes.